So my name's Richard Ovenden, I'm Bodley's Librarian here at the University of Oxford and I'm responsible for the university's centrally funded library services centred around the historic institution called the Bodleian Library but including 28 former faculty and departmental libraries, the university archives and the major book storage facility we have in Swindon. We acquired our 13 millionth printed book, we've got you know, kilometres and kilometres of manuscripts and archives. It's very difficult to comprehend collections on that scale. I get shown new things by uh, my colleagues here all the time. I think the one thing that I've always been really fascinated by is a book called The Codex Mendoza. And it was uh, a blank book taken to Central America by um, the Spanish conquistadors. And um, one of the conquered Aztecs was encouraged to write down in the pictogrammic language that they used the habits of the people that the Spanish had just conquered. And this, this most amazing, colourful, fascinating document about the daily life of the Aztec people um, at the point at which they were conquered and their world changed forever. And so it's, it's an absolutely, it's like a piece of time travel. You're able to go back into a society that you can barely understand and it gives you these incredible glimpses of what their life was like. And then the document itself, the object itself, has had this amazing journey. You know, paper milled in 16th century Spain, travels to the New World, it gets copied out, it then gets put back on a ship to travel the Atlantic again, it gets captured by French pirates, literally in the Caribbean, and, and ends up in the city of Oxford. So I'm the 25th person to be Bodley's librarian, and the first librarian was somebody who was actually, a bit like me, cut his teeth in what we now call special collections, so he catalogued manuscripts. And, but he was a, a, a cleric, um, he was deeply immersed in the religious life of the early 17th century. I'm none of those things, but um, you know, gradually as the profession of librarianship has evolved, really from the latter part of the 19th century, Bodley's librarians have become less clergymen with scholarly interests and being more very much more kind of in, at the information professional end of things. There are certain aspects of the role which are constantly surprising. So, you know, many graduate students will spend significant parts of their life inside one of the modeling buildings. I was in New York a couple of weeks ago and sat at a dinner next to somebody who had done a defill on um, early 19th century writer and had spent you know virtually the whole of her three years inside the the old Bodleian and, and you know that was a very major part of her of her life and her existence here in Oxford. And you hear the most fantastic stories uh, you know I took a couple who had met each other as undergraduates in the Radcliffe camera and they'd been married for 40 years and I was able to take them back into the camera and they showed me the seats where they first started kind of flirting with each other. Um, and that was the, the, so there are constantly wonderful stories like that about the Bodleian's place in the student, graduate student um, experience here that are just fantastic and partly inspirational. You know, people who did their first serious writing. You feel the love for the Bodleian. You really feel the love, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. 